Doug, let's just start with what happened on Saturday. How surprised were you going into it with what ended up happening at the end in terms of what you thought might happen going into it and then what actually happened? Uh, well, Ross, uh, you know, having an undefeated Colt like uh, Nyquist, I was pretty confident. I was trying to keep it, you know, uh, reeled in and not sound too cocky, but I was pretty confident we were going to win and and, uh, and we'd be heading to New York undefeated, going for the Triple Crown. And I think because of that, uh, we might have just got a little bit overconfident. And as amazing as Nyquist is, he, he, he proved like they all are. Not, none of them are machines. And I, I think the instructions to that I instructed Mario was to kind of get after him out of the gate and just keep him out of trouble and just really take it to him. And, uh, and I think in the end, that's what kind of cost us. So here's what I don't understand, Doug, because watching the Derby and seeing the kick that exaggerator made at the end and how much strength and speed exaggerator had at the end, I guess I wasn't that surprised with Saturday's result. Why were you still so confident, even though exaggerator looked so strong at the end of the Derby and just, you know, had kind of gotten caught up in traffic earlier in that race. Well, you know, I haven't raced against exaggerator who is an amazing horse and he's, he's won some really big races. He won a San Diego Derby really well. And, but, uh, Nyquist has competed against exaggerator four times, beat him all four times, you know, prior to the Preakness. And, um, you know, just in the Derby Nyquist, uh, uh, seemed much the best, and but that race there wasn't a lot of other speed signed up, and the Preakness did scare me a little little bit because there was about three or four other horses that looked like they wanted to be forwardly placed, and I just my one concern was we were going to get caught up in some traffic with other speed horses on the first turn, and if I could do it all over again, Ross uh, would have just told Mario ride your race. If if they want to have a crazy pace, sit off that, and and uh, but. You know what? We, we went after it with a lot of uh, aggression and confidence, and, and uh, we got nailed at about the five-yard line there and just didn't punch it in. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.